All right, this is James from Fitness Basics. I'm going to take us through functional movement two, which is the squat pattern. So in the squat, it's knee dominant exercise. But we're working our hip joint, knee joint and ankle. So I'm going to take us through a couple of cues to ensure that we've properly ingrained the squat movement pattern before we move on to any additional, you know, resistance or weighted squats. It's important to just ingrain proper movement pattern of a squat before we strain it. So let's dive into the first step we're going to do to performing a perfect squat. So the basics to just a standard squat is to stand around hip width apart with your knees in line with your toes around 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock direction. I then like to dig my main toe, my little toe and my heel into the floor. This enables me to have a solid point of contact with the ground that's strong it's going to be enabling me to push up off that floor in the best way that I can. So from here we're going to test how mobile our joints are, the hip, the knee and the ankle. What I like to do in this cue is offload my own weight onto a pole or a post and guide myself down. I'm having to use a broomstick here, it's all I've got. So same foot stance and I just want to carefully guide my own weight down. This helps to keep your chest upright as well. Now I just want to try and sit my bum down and bend my knees and I can test. Still with a straight back, how far I can squat down safely and then push the ground away and extend up. So that's really handy. Now with some people, they're going to find out that maybe their ankle joint, it's not flexible, it's not mobile enough, sorry, for them to perform a deeper squat where the bum can come right down. What happens if you've got stiff ankles? You can only come so far, that's all you can do. When you allow yourself some ankle mobility, it allows your knees to track forward, it allows your bum to come down while you can still keep a straight back. That's what it allows and then you can extend up. And it also is going to stop your weight from tilting back once you can develop some ankle mobility there. So I'm going to teach you a cue now so that you can modify your stance in a squat just to help master movement where you can squat down deeper. Let's get into it. Okay, there's ways that we can improve poor ankle mobility through some active stretching. However, for the sake of a squat, what we can do, we can modify our position that we squat. So I'm on a grass verge. My heels are a lot higher than my feet now, my toes. So this allows me to be able to bring my bum down. It allows me to squat through a bigger range of movement because my ankles are at a higher incline level. Let's take you through onto a different way that we can also perform this. So another way that we can raise our heel position is through putting weighted plates on the floor. And now when you perform a squat, you'll find that you're able just to bring your bum a bit further down to the floor and back up. But you wouldn't be able to do this too deep without having the plates there. So this is great to modify the position of your squat to allow you to squat deeper and still work on ankle mobility as you gradually improve it. So I've seen two common mistakes in squatting. The first is where the pel pelvis is too far tilted forward. It's like you're pouring water out the front of your pelvis to at the bottom of your movement. You're just too far forward. The other extreme is where your pelvis is tilted back, your lower back's rounded. So it's one extreme or the other. You want that sweet spot where your stomach's braced, eyes gaze forward. It's going to help you keep an upright torso, not too far back, not too far forward. Have a lean so that you're at least balanced throughout your whole body. Straight position, straight back. There's a lot of focus points for the squat because there's so much going on. And so you're not going to be able to focus on everything. I've set up a chair and we're just going to do some bodyweight box squats to ensure that we can Try to ingrain the movement before we strain the movement and do too much or move too much or hold too much. So, feet stable, knees in line with toes, 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock, gaze the eyes forward, light brace in the stomach and with breathing, you want to take a breath in before you squat, touch the box and then come up. If you're using light weight, you can breathe in as you come down. It's not too difficult. Just touch the box, extend and blow up. Breath in, breath out. Breath in, breath in, breath out. 
if you're using very heavy weight, you can stop at the top, deep breath in, brace, come down, and then, then extend and exhale, breathe out. But for the sake of this, it's a light movement, we're just ingraining everything before we strain anything. So the objective with a box or a chair squat is just to make very light contact with the surface that you're squatting your bum down onto. And there's various pieces of kit that you can use to bring your squat down a little bit deeper just to make that light contact and then extend a puff. Once you're proficient enough and confident with box squats you can go on to body weight squats. Now here I'm just going to show that your knees must travel in line with your toes, it's the safest squat movement here because if your knees start to buckle inwards then that's a sign of weak adductors and you can use a band to help keep your knees facing outwards as a bit of a helping hand. Now here is a front loaded box squat with a kettlebell just to check that everything in the squat is all good and safe before moving on to any advanced lifts. Also a resistance band can help you squat towards the top with strength as it gets a bit tough as you get up towards the top of your movement when using a band. Now let's have a look at how we can work with our own weight. You can control your own weight down slowly and then extend up. You can also control your weight down and pause at the bottom of your squat for some additional quad tension and then you can actually just perform a squat and really explode as you come up for some explosive power leg work. Here I pick up safely a kettlebell for a front loaded body weight squat where I can move throughout my own range of movement safely. As you'll see this depth is more than okay for me to come down and extend up off. Everyone's squat is going to look different dependent on their femurs and limb length also so bear that in mind. Alright, there you go, so hopefully you've learned a couple of things about the squat movement pattern. It's never a race to load weight onto your back. You can load weight onto your front, you can work with your own body weight. You can work to a range of motion that is still safe for your back. You don't have to, you know, squat too deep. Every squat dominantly is going to be targeting the quads more than any other muscle. So it's just about perfecting that squat in a safe manner. Work with the hardest variety of squat that you can already do and that you can already master. If you're noticing a few aches or pains and it's not right, you can always backtrack to a safer squat, practice, ingrain before you strain. That's the main point that I want to make clear in this video today. So a quick recap on the movement drills. You can start to offload some of your weight onto a stick, work your weight to check your joint movement. Then you can work with your body weight onto a higher platform. So to come down onto there and tap off there. If that's okay, you can work with your own body weight now to see how your own range of movement is without any box. You can then test your own body weight also with control, with pausing and holding your own weight, coming up, and then back onto a box. You can load some weight onto your front, see how you manage with that weight. Just at the box, come up off there. There's plenty of ways to build up progressive strength in your legs through these cues, which are going to be safe to start off with. Also in the upcoming videos, I will show you how to improve your ankle and a bit of your hip mobility to help with the squat pattern in future. Look out for my future uploads. Thank you for watching.